let's try to refresh some of these braids because they're looking a mess. I have a modeling gig that I got booked for tomorrow morning and my roots are looking like this. The edges are looking like that. And we clearly, we've done an edge video. We've seen, doesn't hold up. Can't really do it that well. In the email for the gig itself, it said that there's gonna be hairstylists, but like, you know, there's no guarantee it's gonna be a black person who can do edges really well, you know? So we're just gonna, we're just gonna redo some of the braids. What I'm thinking is that I'm just gonna do this, ooh, this is gonna be so, y'all are gonna be like, what the fuck, Tiffany? I'm thinking that I'm gonna do just this row of braids and then just this top row because they want me to have my hair down anyway. So I'm gonna pretty much look like this. So I'm just thinking, you know, maybe just refresh the top and then refresh right here because that's really what's gonna be seen. I actually do have to go babysit in like, two hours i'm hoping that i can get this done within that time frame but honestly who knows because didn't think it would take three days to do my whole head but as we saw it took three days to do my whole head so i do need to redo my whole head but i don't have time to do that right now and i'm also going to france in like a week and i don't want to have my hair pink for france so i wasn't going to redo my whole head for like five days just to redo it again a different color to go to france so y'all i really don't have like any shine and jam left so this is gonna be interesting that already looks so much better <laughs> anyways i'm also going to be rebraiding them one by one just because i am going to work in a couple of hours so just in case i don't finish you know i'm not gonna look crazy with like just this and just that cut off of my head because that would look insane i honestly might just use this shine and jam edge magic that i tried to use on my edges because it still is gel so we're starting this first braid at 3 42 p.m i gotta leave here at like 5 50. i think we can do it i think we can get it done before I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Well, if I were to like take a lot of breaks, eat, blah, 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 but. Ooh, the problem is, is that those braids are not gonna be curled. Okay, that's something that I did not think about just now. Today we have hair ties, y'all. We came half prepared. I was gonna say we came prepared, but the shine in jail is almost done, so. Okay, first one done. These front braids are definitely gonna look so different from the other ones, but what can you do, what can you do? We're doing pretty good. I'm already almost done with this second braid and it's only been 14 minutes. And that's including cutting the braid and like, I don't know, just like restarting it. <laughs> I do wanna see how much I can get done in an hour, especially if I'm like trying to go fast and like not watching a show, not dilly-dallying in any way. All right, y'all, it's been an hour. I've done this whole front side. So, well, not whole front side, whole front row. <laughs> um, I have two braids left on this front row. And then after that, we're moving on to that way and then we'll be done. But like I said, it's been exactly an hour. So it's 4.42 right now. I have to leave at 5.50. So it's like maybe an hour and 10 minutes, you know? I really have been trying to go as fast as possible, but like, I don't know, my hands are not moving as fast as like my mind is thinking that it is. But it definitely looks a lot better than it did an hour ago. So I'm happy with that. It's super hard because like I'm not willing to dye my hair pink. <laughs> so the separation between the black and the pink, you know, it goes quickly because you start to have new growth within like the first week. So it's tough like people with pink hair in general like that actually dye their hair pink they too have to re-dye their hair like every single week or every two weeks because it starts to fade so you know we kind of go through the same struggles kind of but yeah it's like you can really only do so much with the separation of the pink and the black like this is as close to my head as it's gonna freaking get but you know like it's still you know 447 now damn dang i was really hoping that i was gonna get this done before leaving for work but i just don't think that that's gonna happen because i don't think i can do 
these last two braids in like under five minutes, to be honest. My hand is hurting. My hand is hurting. Honestly, we might be able to get these braids done before five. Or not all of them, but like the last one in this row. It's 4.52, y'all. Push, 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 push. All right, we got six minutes to do this braid. We can do it. We've got it. We have definitely got it. One section, two section, three section. Hold tightly. We good. We good if I can find this separation right here. We're gonna make it. We've got four minutes. We can do it. And we're done. Finished with two minutes left to spare. And now we've got 40 minutes to do these two rows. Let's see if we can do it. I don't know why I keep doing these weird voices. Sorry. Let's see how we're gonna do this. So this has got four left here and four left there. I think we can do it. This was six and this was six. And it took me, oh, an hour and 20 minutes. I don't know, we're just, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. If I could finish, that would be great because I really don't want to do this after work. I mean, it's 5.03. We're doing good. Honestly, I don't think we're going to get done. <laughs> I'm not that hopeful anymore. Yeah, no, definitely not because I want to start getting ready for work at like 5.40. <laughs> we got 30 minutes. I don't think that seven breeds are happening in 30 minutes. We can pray and hope all we want, but realistically... All right, I'm stopping here. I have three braids left. I have two braids left on that side and one braid left on the left. But I don't want to start another one because I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it in time for me to get to work. So we're just going to stop here to play it safe. It'll probably only take me 15, 20 minutes to finish the rest when I get back. Honestly, it looks a lot better than it did before. Like it looks way, way better. Honestly, I'm even just like, do I just leave it like this? I kind of want to do this one just because this one is like really outgrown. So I might do that one. But honestly, we're done for right now because I don't want to be late to work. So I'm just going to put my hair up like this, especially because those braids are not curled yet. But like, it looks way better. It literally looks so much better already. I don't know. I might leave it like this. Honestly, it looks a lot, a lot, a lot better. Honestly, I might leave it like this. I don't know. I think I might leave it. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it like this, but I'm gonna decide when I get back. But it does look a whole lot better, especially like this front part. That was the part that I was mainly worried about. So we'll see. I'll see y'all when I get back. So I did end up leaving the braids the way they were. And this is the next day. I was in literally such a rush to leave, I could not talk to the camera whatsoever, but I still had to refresh and curl the front braids. So here we are, but if you're impatient and late like me, a little hack for boiling water is just boil it in your kettle if you have a kettle. I have a kettle because I drink tea all the time, but if you have a kettle, boil it in your kettle and then put it in the pot, it will save you so much time. Another hack for when you're actually curling your braids, put it in a braid. Put it in a braid, I'm telling you, and then just, you know, take the end and wrap two little, whatever those things, rollers, wrap two rollers at the ends, but seriously, it saves so much time. I used to take rollers around my whole entire head, and now just doing this, it looks so much cuter because it's wavy, and you can do, you know, pretty much whatever curl size you want, because if you do, you know, four braids or two braids, the ringlets and the waves themselves are gonna look different, you know? Anyways, here I am just putting mousse in. This is literally my favorite part. I do blow dry it after because I think I saw a video saying that you're supposed to blow dry after you mousse just to set it all in. I'm really not sure. I could be totally lying about that. <laughs> um, and if I am, then I just wasted that time doing that. But, you know. It's still so wet. <laughs> but anyways, I hope y'all had such a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you, friends. Bye.